Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We've made progress in each of our last episodes towards actually getting real Platinum God. Last run was really good on a mechanical level as well. We'll be playing as Kane. Uh, I believe he has a 20% damage increase or 20% higher tiers, maybe a 20% damage increase. A Z V N G S 8 8. Also starts with the luck foot. Does not start with a bomb. And considering that the only item we're missing for real Platinum God at this point is raw liver, that's a little bit... It's probably the only time it'll ever be relevant, but it's a little bit of a real, you know, deleterious thing for Kane right now. Deleterious thing is also my favorite jazz fusion artist of the early 1990s. I almost took a full heart there, which considering that we're guaranteed to fight the Haunt on the first floor because Haunt's Law is real, uh, is a little frightening for me. Never mind. I have to... <laughs> I have to take a second and say thank you to RN Jesus. You know, I didn't realize it uh, until the past few runs, but it's a deity that's been very kind to us. Oh, there's a tinted rock back there. That's eh, not worth it. Um, it's a deity that's been, or deity, sorry, that's been very kind to us. I'll open this. I like to live dangerously. That also gives us our fifth cent, which allows us to, uh, uh, allows us, ooh, careful. I forgot we had Holy Mantle. Uh, allows us to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is not that important now that I think about it. I, I totally got my brain fixated on spawning an arcade, and now I realize that we actually uh, don't have that as as much of a problem as it used to be based on the fact that we actually did get Skatol on the last run. But anyway, to get back to the point that I was talking about like 45 seconds ago, Skatol has been... Or not Skatol, the RNG has been enormously great to us. Two Mom's Knife runs, followed by an Epic Fetus run. Well, two Mom's Knife runs. Then a winning lost run where we picked up a stupid amount of uh, Isaac's rooms for uh, crawl spaces and and a really mm, that's not so good a really really important uh, stopwatch pickup. Then epic fetus plus super me boy and I believe on that well on that run we had epic fetus which which sorted it out. Then on our next run we wanted to get Skatole and raw liver and we ended up picking up as Lazarus. What was the like game-winning item we got as last week? So we got an early Goat Head. So Goat Head just gave us pretty much a huge head start when it came to winning, and we ended up kind of balling out of control on that run. I have had an absurd level of early game luck, and Holy Mantle definitely fits in with that as well. So my my principal concern here as Kane is really just to get a win, because there's not that much I can do to ensure myself a raw liver pickup, right? If if I wanted to, 100%. I was going to use the word scum for them, but it doesn't really make sense. But if I wanted to give ourselves the highest chance, we might as well walk over that now that I think about it. If I wanted to give myself the highest chance to get uh, raw liver, oh, contract from below. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I would play as Isaac, I would go to all the secret rooms, and if there was an item in them, I would reroll them. But, you know, we could be taking another 10, 20, 30, even more runs than that in order to actually make that happen. I don't want to play Isaac 40 times in a row. That's a little ridiculous. I think we'll save our bomb to try to get to the secret room, though, for the uh, the Platinum God emphasis. I could blow up that Tinted Rock, but in all honesty, we probably don't need to uh, in order to get a black, or not a black market, but a, a deal with the devil, because we already have Holy Mantle, so the odds of me requiring uh, an extra spirit heart to not take damage, especially considering we know ooh, we know we're not going to be fighting the haunt. What's the worst boss that we could fight here? Honestly, like, oh my god, I took red heart damage. On this room, that I constantly talk about, holy crap, I've lost my mojo. I constantly talk about this as like being the room that, uh, you know, oh, check out, not the skill, but check out the uh, level of methodology that I've got going on with this one. You do like a little bit of diagonal shooting. Unfortunately, uh, that's that's just unexcusable or inexcusable, I suppose. We also have no ability to access our item room. This double key room we might be able to access because I'm guessing the secret room is probably adjacent to it, and that means the shop we're adjacent to probably as well. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the secret room is going to be over here. So if we could only bomb our way into one. I think we bomb our way into the shop because we could probably buy a bomb and a key on it. Uh, that's a ton of money. I can't be mad about that. Um, actually, we do have enough bombs at this point to bomb our way into both, so we will do so. We have 41 cents already, which is ridiculous. We'll totally get Mom's Key, and we'll totally get Humbling Bundle, uh, which effectively means that we just picked up 
Contract from Below and, well, not effectively, literally just picked up Contract from Below and a Humbling Bundle on the same goddamn floor. That is just crazy talk. We'll also never have to worry about keys again because, uh... We just picked up a uh, flat penny and a ton of money to go along with it. This run, despite the fact that I'm an idiot and took red heart damage, this run is unbelievably powerful. I really doubt we'll get a deal with the devil on this floor, but regardless of that, we got a deal with the devil item. Two of my favorite shop items. I'm not necessarily going to go so far out on a limb and say they're the best shop items. I mean, if you're looking at it on paper, you're probably looking at stuff like the stopwatch, right? But right below the stopwatch, I think you'd have Humbling Bundle, to be honest with you. And I think you might not have Mom's Key too far behind that. Especially, you know, both of those items are obviously better the earlier you get them, and we're getting them roughly as early as we can. Now, of course, our secret room didn't necessarily pan out for us on this floor, but that's okay. Apart from that, though, this has been a very, very generous seed so far. I'll be honest with you, we don't deserve a deal with the devil there, so I don't really mind this uh, lack of deal with the devil. And I'm not going to do the boss trap room for one golden chest. You know, if we're having to pay to open it, it's going to have to be better than it probably would be in order to make me excited about it. So, the one thing we do lack on this run right now... Did I not go to the item room on the last floor? Am I the biggest idiot in the world? I might be the biggest idiot in the world. This is a great floor for Pandora's box, though. And you know what? We'll probably pick up Fanny Pack as well. The range upgrade is not very good, but... Um, I would love to pick up Fanny Pack if we can. I'm assuming we'll get a Penny Drop, and if we get a Penny Drop, that means we'll get two Penny Drops. I totally did skip the item room on the last floor, didn't I? I mean, there is an excuse for that, but it's not a good excuse. The only excuse is that I had no keys for so long, and then I got confused. That's it's It's been a long time since that's happened. But I can redeem myself with a win, or with a raw liver pickup, preferably both. Not loving that holy mantle damage, as you can probably guess. My reflection? Please tell me. Maybe I don't want to know, but if you're, uh... If you're playing the seed out there, please tell me what I missed in that item room. If it ends up being a great item, I'd be very sad. If it ends up being a bad item, I'd actually be even sadder. Because people are guaranteed to be mad over that. And if they're getting mad over something like a Brother Bobby, well then that's just, you're getting mad for no reason, I'm getting mad for no reason. What are we doing here? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends, you know? Alright, there you go. Should get taken out pretty quickly here. I'm going to blame that uh, on my sleep deprivation again as well. You know what it was? I just wanted to give the game a handicap because we're already like winning so hard. Or I wanted to give myself a handicap, I guess. We're already winning so hard as a result of that free contract from below. I decided, you know what? I'll take contract from below, but uh, I won't take your item room from you because that's just not fair. That's just, you know, I don't want to punch down here. Luckily, Holy Mantle protected me from taking red heart damage again. And uh, we'll pick up Mini Mush in the process, which is all right. I don't think Mini Mush is particularly strong, but I don't think it's particularly terrible or anything like that. There we go. The ability to get, uh, you know, double the drops and then have the drops that are already doubled, doubled again, is just kind of ridiculous. Now, all we need to do... Oh my god, I'm trapped in the middle! Of... <laughs> they caught me in, like, a, a Hungarian suplex there! They got me in a triple threat! What am I supposed to do? Well, there's Holy Mantle gone. I do have an ex... No, that's not a Tinted Rock in the middle there. Just weird lighting causing that. Literally on that room, I was about to say, all I have to do is not uh, get hit twice on any of the next rooms. I can get hit once each, but don't get hit twice on any of them and I'll be fine. And I blew it, but we still might get a deal with the Devil. Really, really poor play. I can't, uh, I can't offer anything up in my own defense, really. That being said... You know, it may, hopefully this will be one of those runs where you can play sloppily and still put out, pull out a win. It happens. I'm, uh... I'm hoping that we don't end up, you know, really feeling the burn on this one. Look, I'll admit, my reflection is not my favorite item in the game, but... <laughs> I'm gonna... Time out, okay? We're gonna take a time out. I'm gonna take some damage there because I deserve it, and I'm a bad boy who deserves to be punished. I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna breathe in, and I'm gonna forgive myself. I'm gonna give my strength, or give myself the strength to forgive myself. We are not perfect, you know. Nobody's perfect. We don't need to rush. We have holy mantle and great items, but let's not ruin it by being a complete idiot. That was a thank you. That makes me feel so much better. 
Now you're gonna say, oh, Northern Lion got lucky, but you know what? I had Goathead on my vision wall, and I have been dreaming about the power of positive thinking for several seconds now, and I think we just willed it into existence. So I, I really appreciate that, Goathead. Uh, thank you, Universe, for um, rewarding me when I didn't deserve to be rewarded. I appreciate it a great deal. Hey, Northern Lion, if you have the uh, Holy Mantle, why don't you play those sacrificial things? Why don't you Why don't you play the sacrifice room? By the way, you might not love that trade, but with Flat Penny, I thought it was okay. The Sacrificial Room, the spikes on the ground, Blood Banks, stuff like that, they still hurt you with Holy Mantle. Demon Judgments, for example. I think basically if you choose to take damage on them for like material gain, you still eat damage for it, which... I think I've talked about it a couple times in the past, because we've had a Holy Mantle more than our fair share lately, which, if you're gonna get mad at me for that, fuck it, dude. Go ape shit because I have no control over it. You're just insane. You want to get mad at the, the, you know, the gods of mischief? You take that up with, uh, you know, the Norse god Loki. But in any case, you know, I'm just here picking up the items as they show up. I think it makes sense. Otherwise, I mean, it's already so powerful, but it would be out of control. I know I recently said, like, I would prefer if it was like that, but that's just for absurdity's sake. Right, we don't have full HP, so we can't do that. It really is, in spite of the fact that I haven't gotten a deal with the devil yet. It's an incredible run. You're gonna hate me for this, but we do also have the opportunity to use a, a Hermit card to get out of Boss Rush. It's our timing. Our timing is like, we're probably gonna end up being about 30 seconds slower than I'd like to be, which is not a uh, not a deal breaker. I can't remember if the Goathead will actually give us a, a way out on this floor. Like if it'll give us a deal with the Devil. I, I hope it will. Secret Room just contains bombs, but it's okay. Uh, you know, I'm still hoping for raw liver, but mostly I'm I'm settling into the idea that we're going to eventually. There's fanny pack in here, right? Do I really want that right now? Yeah, why not? When we play blood banks, which we could get on the next floor, um, it'll it'll be nice for us. I'm settling into the idea that we're definitely going to get. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take Guppy's head. We had Satanic Bible on the last floor. Or on the last run. And uh, Guppy's Head, good damage item. We can't take Guppy's Head and Satanic Bible. I'm going to take Guppy's Head. But uh, we're definitely going to get Platinum God at some point. It's going to happen. It's it's as close to inevitable as, as things get. You know, I'm going to be playing this game for a long time. And uh, eventually, just the law of large numbers is going to work out in our favor. So why not just, you know, focus on, on having fun and... and playing mechanically relatively well during these episodes as well because we can't uh, you know we can't control whether or not raw liver shows up all we can control is our secret room access and assuming we have bombs at least and you know our our relative strength of play so hopefully uh, we, we demonstrate some good fundamentals there step one of demonstrating good fundamentals probably is not to skip an item room but apart from that that's okay the real the only thing that's uh, you know a fly in the ointment for our run right now is the fact that we don't have very much damage. That's one of the reasons that I decided um, to take Guppy's head over Satanic Bible. The other reason, and I just uh, thought to articulate this right now, but Satanic Bible doesn't matter as much in the early game since we're going to get deals with the devil anyway via the goat head. So we don't need the um, we don't need it the same way you would want to get spirit hearts or demon hearts on a non goat head run. Because you would be getting those to finance, or at least facilitate the uh, opportunity to pick up better items as well. What we could really use in this run is uh, either an Orbital, or something like Poison Touch, Midas Touch, E. coli. Uh, anything that makes it so when enemies hit us, they get hit as well. Because I am running into enemies a lot. Which is kind of my own fault, and by kind of I mean like pretty much 100% my own fault. We can definitely afford to get rid of uh, Flat Penny. Flat Penny, for the most part, is a great trinket temporarily. You don't need it for too long. But uh, getting it for like one or two floors, especially when we have some stupid interactions like uh, Humbling Bundle Contract from below, is crazy good. You can see it's taken me forever. It's, it's very much paining me to have to go through these rooms so slowly. That's okay. More than enough money to buy something from this shop as well. Not good hit there, but Holy Mantle protected us. 
Mom's contact is really where we start to feel like maybe the game likes us enough to start giving us those offensive items. Not that it would dislike us before. Somebody on the subreddit told me... This, by the way, I'm prefacing this. Don't blame me for the spread of misinformation. I'm prefacing this by saying I'm pretty sure it's a myth. But they told me, stop getting rid of pretty fly pills if you have more than, uh, or if you have three flies or more, well, I guess three flies is the maximum you can get uh, in terms of pretty flies. If you have three flies, then every pretty fly pill makes the flies bigger. I'm pretty sure, like 99.5% sure, that is a straight up falsehood, and I'm not trying to spread it. But on the off chance that that ends up being the actual, like, correct way that things work, I apologize. Show me some proof. Let me know. That's that's something I'd be interested to find out. Ooh, I want you. I don't know if I need you, but ooh, I'd die to find out. What a weird song. Savage Garden. People don't talk about them that much anymore. Is that just, is Savage Garden a dude? I thought it was like two dudes. They had like the Prozac style band where they had one, one small guy and then like one big guy, I thought. Anyway. Ooh, I want you. I don't know if I'd need you, but ooh, I'd die to find out. Can you imagine if, if that actually took place in real life? We're like, well, you found out you do want her, but now we have to take your life. And he's like, oh, I didn't really think this one through, did I? Turns out I probably would have been happier just living and not knowing. Not my favorite deal with the devil ever. Kind of stuck with the coin purse, but maybe we'll get another pretty fly out of it. I mean, I would like more than just a pretty fly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, Holy Mantle means we won't get hit even if we get hit. But that is disappointing. Still a great run. We'll be looking for a secret room. It won't be there. And uh, I think we have to give up on our shop. So you know what? If we're going to give up on our shop, we might as well just teleport to it. We haven't taken the rosary, so I don't feel a particular need to take the Bible. We have so much money that I feel like I'll buy the pills just to see what we get. You know, I feel like it was worth the 15 cents not only for the range upgrade, but for the information. We probably, you know, don't need to worry about money, but better safe than sorry. We'll donate a little bit of money. That'll facilitate, like, a small loan in the future. Keys are out of control. We need to find a beggar that turns our keys into money. You don't need that all that often, but we could actually make use of it right now. Move on here. Still need to find the secret room. I mean, for all of the misplays here, and there have been misplays aplenty. If we could just pick up... By the way, I asked for an orbital and then got one. I'm just saying, the power of positive thinking. I'm not necessarily a believer in it, but it seems to be working out pretty well. Although, if it was working out better, maybe I can keep myself from uh, taking a bunch of damage against these neutral... Well, not neutral, but relatively shitty spiders. Holy Mantle is, is doing the best that it could. I might actually be... If, if I hadn't picked up Holy Mantle in this run, this could be a run where I might have found myself at risk of dying, which is actually just sad. Uh, this could be our secret room. It was. And we will pick up more money and uh, another two keys. But no raw liver. Not only no raw liver, just no item in general. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't really want... I mean, we have 30 bombs. You know what? I will place enough to check out the, these all... Or all of these mushrooms. That's, a uh, new. Oh, good enough. I'm not sad that we wasted a bomb earlier. Quote-unquote wasted a bomb earlier to find the secret room. More happy that we, uh, will be able to find the second secret room, which I don't really take advantage of probably as often as I should. And there it is right there. Sure. Basically, that was an HP upgrade pill. We just didn't know it. This room is annoying with my reflection, but my reflection, I, I like more. It, for a while, it was an item I never picked up in vanilla. I like it now because there's kind of cool synergies with, um, I mean, that synergy might have existed now, before now that I think about it, but like with Lump of Coal, Parasite, you know, Homing Tears, stuff like that, Rubber Cement especially. I feel like you always end up saying that, though. You go like, oh, this synergizes with um, this, this, and this, oh, and obviously Rubber Cement. Rubber cement is just like, it's the ultimate synergistic item. It's the ultimate side. It's french fries. Nobody's ever sad that they got french fries unless they're like, willfully laying off of french fries. For one reason or another. Don't try to, oh, I don't, 
Come on. You go to a burger joint, you're getting the side salad. I'm pretty sure the percentage of people getting a side salad and the percentage of people who are nutritionally concerned, not that that's a bad thing at all, overlap. If you're going for full taste, I feel like most people are going for the french fries. You'd be like, oh, I want quad shot. Sure, quad shot's great, man. I love a nice, uh, a nice, you know, Mediterranean salad or something like that. But give me rubber cement non-stop unless we've had it too much recently. I mean, if we've had rubber cement once already today, I would still probably take it again. But, you know, maybe get a sweet potato of rubber cement. You know, super glue. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm still, like, this is the same series of recordings during which I've been sleep deprived. I mean, it's not medical, it's just, you know, acute. And so are you. 53, well, we, I don't even want to, you know, start naming the amounts of each consumable we have, because, you know, it's a lot. Which is a good thing, but it doesn't really bear repeating, I guess. Sorry, White Stripes. Please die, please die. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't matter because we have Holy Mantle, but you're... We did get hit, but you're really getting a taste for how shitty our damage is right now. I mean, we probably would get more, if we traded two bombs, we'd get four cents and probably a couple keys out of it. That's a great trade, but we just have no desire to do so because we're very well provided for in all aspects here. I mean, we should start using bombs offensively. It's a bad habit to be in to not use bombs offensively. That was not a good bomb, by the way. Um, if slash when we lose Holy Mantle, I can't believe we didn't lose it there. But I might just uh, bail out of this room because we've already bombed our way out. But now I should probably be able to get through without taking damage. We'll see. Ooh, I don't like being in this position. Now we can just walk into him. What we really would like here is like a sacrificial dagger or something like that, so I could make better offensive use of Holy Mantle. I probably can't be trusted with that kind of power. That's okay, though. We are, I'm starting to realize that I'm kind of in danger of this being like the first... Holy Mantle, like, it wouldn't be the first Holy Mantle loss, but it would probably be up there. You know, you're not supposed to lose with Holy Mantle. It really is one of the best items in the game. We just picked up four bombs in a single room, so I think we can afford to use two bombs to check this situation out here. Get a Devil card out of it. I'll go back to the item room, and probably should have gone to the item room right away, but I wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. Oh my god, we found the secret room. I was thinking about that. I was like, on Curse of the Lost, I'm probably not going to find it. But there it is. And we picked up money yet again. So disappointing. I mean, I guess it's, I shouldn't be complaining about free money. I'm just saying. Notched Axe is not that good. Not good enough to replace Guppy's head. I think we have to save the Devil card for a room that is a little bit more... A longer room. Let's just put it that way. That didn't hit anybody? Oh, Yera? A Hagalaz. I'll use that right now. We did just pick up Dry Baby for free as a result of that Hagalaz rune. And a, uh, a special heart as well. I feel like we would be stupid to not use bombs more often. In fact, a sad bombs pickup would make me a very happy camper right now. Like, I think we broke even in bombs there, and I used far too many. There's probably something to be said for... Uh, Taking the toaster here. Well, it's not the toaster. Kate calls it the toaster. It's like a massage machine, the magic fingers. But uh, I don't know. We already have a pretty good space bar item. The bank is being kept afloat. I don't know if we'll ever get back to 999, but I don't think that fucking matters at all. As long as we have to, we were constantly replenishing enough to donate. I will totally use IV bag to hurt ourselves because fanny pack gives us a very good chance to get payouts from it anyway. And you know it. it might be basically impossible for us to not get to 99 cents. And for once, we might also get to 99 keys in the process of it, which is just ridiculous. We have Old Bandage as well, which is what's giving us uh, a lot of the payouts here. In terms of the red hearts that we're getting. And Fanny Pack is giving us the other consumables. Maybe the occasionally a red heart as well. That's the first time we didn't get back to full, uh, full HP. I feel like we might as well just go hard on this. I don't know if we're going to get to 99 keys, but we're certainly going to get close. At this point, it's not even because the keys will be functional. It's just because this is ridiculous. I never knew an IV bag could be this potent. 
Anyway, we got him to 88 keys. Lost some HP in the process, but still. War? What is it good for? No, giving us an orbital. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. War, good God. What is it good for? Dubious offensive upgrades. Yeah, that's a totally different song by the end of it, isn't it? Mom's contact, please. Uh, okay, we'll just try to keep him, like, stuck on these choke points here, I guess. There's Holy Mantle gone. We are a little slow. We had a speed downgrade, if you recall. The most wonderful reindeer of all. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I'm looking for. We gotta, like, really play chicken with him. In order to keep him in a position that keeps him on the bomb. Lucky us, and of course the deal with the devil. We gotta pay the Krampus tax at some point. Could be now. Nope. Uh, just nothing. Well, I didn't know that it was nothing, but it did end up being nothing. Speed down, range up. That's the way we like to fuck. I, I shouldn't have taken that I can see forever pill. Now I feel like an obligation to walk around and find our second. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's right here. And we got a black heart for it. Well, it's an okay payout, all things considered. Could be better, but certainly could be worse as well. Not the best deal with the devils thus far. And we've been to every secret room as far as I recall, but no no items, much less no raw liver, or much less raw liver. Unfortunate. But we're 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 not down, nor are we out. I'm just a little bit surprised. We're slaves to RNG Jesus right now, and he's worked out pretty nicely. Really? He's worked out pretty nicely from like an item generation, especially defensively. Uh but uh not so, so hot. Help me. I have made a terrible mistake. I freed the hearts from their prison. Thank you, Dry Baby. I freed the hearts from their prison, but... I didn't actually kill one in the process until later. I'm pretty lucky we ended up getting out of there. Help. Uh, I don't need help on this room. That's okay. Not like there was help coming... Anyway. Uh, thanks to Holy Mantle, though, I guess we can just never take damage on that room. Unless we got hit by one of those guys in the process. So, yeah, I'm not too sad about it. There's also, there was... <sighs> what do they say about, you know, madness? Madness is doing the same thing every time. They're doing the same thing, but expecting different results. This is the room that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started playing it not knowing what it was. And they get teleported to the spawn room just like scrubs because the room it never... Okay, that's pretty good. Blood of the Martyr is beyond solid. Mostly I love it because it makes our tears red. It's the asparagus of the... Uh, Isaac World. Fool card, not good. Wheel of Fortune will just explode. Could try to get a better trinket. When did I take Matchstick instead of... Flat Penny? I mean, it's it matters basically zero. It's actually good. What's our other one? Fool, right. It's actually good because we were at... Oh, it was just literally on the last room. That's embarrassing. Um, we don't need any more keys. Even if we get Bombs or Key, we don't need any more keys. Strength card. Still, I'm, I'm a surprise, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully there's an arcade, because we can make good use of the uh, boss trap room. Also, it probably represents one of our best chances to become Guppy. We still do have, a, a like, a genuine Guppy chance. And, you know, call me old-fashioned, but Guppy's a, it's a common way out of, like, not having fantastic damage. Now, that's pretty rich coming from me when I just got Blood of the Martyr, but at the same point, or at the same time, uh, it would be nice for me to up my damage even further than this to go along with our incredible defensiveness, you know? We could just pick up uh, Mr. Mega when we have so many bombs and actually have been using them offensively. is great. If we could just pick up some more DPS upgrades, I'd be an extremely happy individual. I am excited, though, that we did get uh, that cube of meat. I don't really care whether we get to level 2 or not, it's just, it's nice to have the ability to predict where an enemy is going to be. I shouldn't even get that money, just in case. It's very likely to be irrelevant, but it's it's nice to have the ability to do what I did just there, basically. If I want to speed up a room, and I'm relatively confident that we're not going to take damage in the process, it's very easy to do so. 
Even that I don't mind so much. I almost want to, yeah, like get. Use, you're gonna shoot at me. I almost said use guys. Doesn't really fit with my standard, you know, diction. Wanted to put Dry Baby in between the champions so the champion could shoot it, and you know, Dry Baby would work, but Dry Baby chose not to work. That's okay. I'm actually amazed that Holy Mantle did not have to pop there. There we go. It finally happens. We still can't fly either. I gotta keep that in mind. I don't know if we'll ever be able to. I'm not even gonna bother picking up those keys. We're already at 99. What am I doing here? Just bragging rights? We gotta check. I got uh, tractor beamed over there when I was checking the map. Uh, we are gonna go check the shop. It borderline. I shouldn't have picked that up. It borderline has to be over here. Secret room. Good chance to be here. Oh, never mind. We already found the secret room. Great plays. Very observant. This is why I should not record episodes uh, at like 11 p.m. I think. Who do I think I am? Mathis. Who do you think you are? I am is uh, really the more pressing question I'd say out of the the bunch there. Did get hit, so I didn't want to walk across the spikes. Again, Holy Mantle doesn't work on Blood Banks. That doesn't make the Blood Bank a bad play, though. I'll be the first to admit I've played sloppily here. But uh, the game has been extraordinarily generous to me. With its items. As much as I can complain endlessly about, you know, deals with the devil full of red chests instead of items and, you know, not getting uh, much in the way of DPS upgrades. We've got an above average, uh, without a doubt, above average combination of items thus far. No demon judgment, which is really what I was hoping for. What am I hoping for out of this? I guess I would want the HP upgrade. We certainly don't need the money, but uh, one more HP wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Child's heart is pretty much irrelevant. There we go. That was worth it, I'd say. We could gamble like for bombs and stuff, but... Who cares, really? It's my philosophy on the matter. We're... V <laughs> this is great damage. We're very unlikely to need it. Honestly, I kind of... I, I understand the value of Portable Slot, by the way. I kind of think I'm going to take Red Candle here. It's a, it's a tougher choice, but with our tiers not being that amazing... I think this is a decent choice. I mean, I think it's it's being framed by the fact that uh, we've been having our damage isn't good enough that each guppy's head fly kills like a decent enemy. Usually, it it requires a two shot. I'd rather just have red candle and like smack the shit out of bosses like that. Like that is probably more damage already with one red candle play. Uh, than the guppy's head flies were doing. But maybe I'm being overly sensitive about it. I think most people would probably say red candles better than guppy's head. It's just in my head, I'm like, getting rid of guppy's head feels feels wrong. It feels like betrayal. But I do think this is the right play. Um, I guess that must have been like a mom's contact shot that came back and froze mom before it hit me. Because I still have Holy Mantle active as well. Very easy. We'll take the Polaroid because I'm nervous a little bit about our DPS. And I'll take... Missing page two, just to take missing page two, basically, just for some, just for some extra fun. Curse of the Blind. It's not that big of a deal. I'd rather not have it. There's a Tinted Rock here. Like, Curse of the Blind, with the red hearts that we have, is not that bad. Let's be honest. As much as I'd love to think that the game is going to be nice to us, we have an extraordinarily good chance to fight Krampus on this floor. Why? Am I basic? Can I can I see your numbers, Ryan? What's your math equation for determining that? Well, honestly, it's that uh, it would it just it fits. There's no math that's involved for me. It's more like if if the game could fuck us the most, how would it fuck us the most? And a Krampus fight in our next fight, especially with the Krampus head payout, would be uh, a pretty bad situation. Could be better, for sure. I also thought about using the Emperor here, but since we're guaranteed to deal with the Devil anyway, I don't think there's any rush to get to the boss room. It's just, it's impatience. You know, it's it's good practice, or it is a good practice, I should say, to use uh, 
the Emperor card on the Cathedral, or even to save it for the chest, but I think the Cathedral, you know, there's a good strategic case to be made there. But at the same time, it is, it's just so nice to be on a floor. It's so tempting, I should say, to be on a floor and be like, well, we're leaving. I really should be using more bombs in combat. We have 70 of them. I should be using more bombs for everything. I should be, like, bomb jumping my way to the grocery store, to be honest with you. Wow, one of the turrets came back because I'm too slow, apparently. Please hit. Did you see the way those bullets are swirling around? What? It's not hittable. Okay. Bullets, stop doing that. Guys, I can't... I can't kill that enemy. I bugged it out. Oh, I gotta go back! <laughs> Fudge that, Tony. I am gonna bomb my way through that room. I already fought it. As far as I'm concerned, I already killed that room. I have no qualms. I have no DJ qualmses about going back through that room. This room even gave me two bombs, as if to say, as if to say, as if to say who doesn't like chocolate. Now, we're gonna take ourselves over to the left here. I hope that that is the dead end. That's what I was gonna say, so the game pretty much played right into my hands. Way to go, Troll Engine. Making me the happiest camper this side of, uh... I'm trying to think of the name of a lodge. Eagle Lake Lodge? Is that something that makes me think of, uh... It seems evocative. If it's not something, it should be. Consider it. All those property, you know, barons that are watching this. Why are there property barons, you know? Why can't, why can't you be like a property duke? That sounds way more badass. Kick-ass duke or something. Baron is like, you know, I, admittedly I'm coming at it from Crusader Kings. Baron just means you have a castle. A duke rules over the barons, dog. And the earls and the fucking... Petty dukes. <laughs> it's been a while. Alright, you, you know, you can handle that. These Mr. Mega Bombs are just what I needed, like a song by Rick Okacek. Is it Rick Okacek? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's be honest. Little Steven, wow. Talk about um, items that are not that useful for us right now. Little Steven adds probably like 1% of our DPS or something. And... Lump of Coal. So at least we got Lump of Coal out of it, and with my reflection, that's actually a pretty cool pickup. Apart from that, you know, not so good. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, largely irrelevant, I'd say, if you have full health anyway. This room is just annoying. Especially knowing that this is a dead end. Like, our chances of taking damage are probably better than average because these enemies fucking explode at all times. We do have Holy Mantle, though. Should have just handled that entire room like that. In fact, anytime there's enemies... Uh, that are annoying to hit, I should just walk the fudge into them. We still have 62 bombs. I mean, I don't expect to get to a point where we're making less resources than we are now. This could be interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think we're actually going to be able to, uh... Go to our boss rush or boss trap room? We definitely can't go to boss rush. That train has sailed a long time ago. Yeah? Okay, that's probably worth it. I would re-roll our whole run right now. Mostly just for shits and giggles. We have a great run. But to re-roll it would just be funny. There's some value in that. Thank God they didn't make me put my money where my mouth is. Maggie's Faith. Kind of too little too late. If you get it early, it's a lot better. Tammy's Head. So. Oh, my Lanta. I kind of feel like Tammy's Head is terrible for us right now. But do the shots... We're going to use it for like a room. Why even bother? And we're going to see, uh, there definitely would not have been a secret room here. Uh, we're going to see if it's uh, super good. Because the shots uh, via Lump of Coal will get like bigger and come Oh, it's... I think it's horrible. The longer the... It's hard to say. I have to admit, I no matter what happens, I do have a soft spot for Tammy's head. What's the other one? Red Candle? It's a weird situation, because Red Candle is kind of... It's fun, but it can be a little boring. On the other hand, Tammy's head is a little bit more zany, but I also do take it all the time. 
But I think the potential for absurdity is higher. Tammy's head is kind of like the active item version of rubber cement for me. I'll take it all the time. Mom's key combined with uh, contract from below combined with humbling bundle is actually just being crazy for us right now. Like the the level of payout that we're getting from this is absurd. Anytime we get a chest, it's like we're we're set for consumables for like 10 rooms even if we're using bombs offensively. Which I like to when given the opportunity. Yeah, I, I think I can be content with the amount of damage that, uh, that Tammy's head is doing. Don't even call me an idiot for walking over that uh, creep there. I just wanted to get the consumables as quickly as possible and get out. I knew we were in a totally fine position, considering that uh, Holy Mantle hadn't been used yet. See, that's why I think Tammy's head is worth it, because it's a little bit... I mean, Red Candle could have killed that room by itself. But that's okay. I didn't look for the secret room on the last floor. That's dumb. I will look for it on this floor. Well, another waste. I don't like our odds, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll take it. We got 85 bombs. Won't be there. Uh, I guess it won't. It could be down here. Let's give it a try. That's probably not going to do it, huh? We already, yeah, we have checked up. It's not down. Oh, secret rooms. I guess statistically, I wouldn't have expected the map to show up, or the, the blue map, I should say, to show up in any of the past two runs, but still, I would like it to. I guess the secret room wouldn't be there either. Wow, this room. Again, like that other room, this being a dead end is just like the ultimate piss off. Because this room is already annoying enough as is. And then follow it up by uh, making it completely useless. We don't even have to be here. Then my reflections bumping my uh, Mr. Mega Bombs out of the way. Also, the slang terms that I use to describe my testicular area on a, an irregular basis. I feel a sneeze, but it's not quite making its way out yet. It's very unnerving. It's like a roller coaster. The drop could happen at any time. Hopefully not, like, any time. Like, not as you're going off the lip chain. Lip chain, did I say? I think you know what I meant. Oh, the sneeze is real. It's it's percolating. <coughs> oh, man. Rarely do you feel a sneeze come on for that long. You know, I'm actually glad... Store credit's kind of useless here. Uh, I'm actually glad... that they didn't give me a guppy item in that chest. Because I think that would have just promoted false hope at this point. I think it's pretty clear that we're not going to become guppy on this run. Like, that's not what this run is meant for. So, to just not have to worry about it is even better. I can't believe Red Candle recharges and Tammy's head doesn't, but it's probably a, it's a good thing if we get great synergy in the future. We're about to be on the chest, by the way. Might not seem like it, but it's the honest-to-God truth. Where the fuck is the secret room? Did I fuck up a bomb placement earlier? Like, I'm a little perturbed right now. Sure, you know what? I was going to say we're going to use that pill. We're not going to use that pill. That would be letting the game win. Could it actually be, like, maybe there... My assumption was that there were rocks down here, because there's rubble down here. Alright, that assumption appears to be correct. Maybe I misplaced a bomb? I mean, stranger things have happened. It is possible uh, possible that I missed a spot as well. Just to be sure, I know we placed one in the same place on the other room. No, we didn't. I fucked up the placement. Okay, that's good to know. And we got pills out of it. But I had to try. And I, I think we can afford to use a bomb to get out of here a little faster. Alright, let's go fight Mom's Heart. Uh, I expect that this is fine, to be honest with you. Tammy's head won't be... That amazing. Store credit is effectively meaningless unless we get a Joker card. Unlikely. Matchstick is not that useful either, to be honest, but whatever. So we're going to get, like, right up in the middle and pop one of those. We need piercing shots so that the, the shots stay alive. Because right now they're dying as soon as they hit something. But if they are piercing shots, then they would live through that first hit and then do more damage in the future. 
Admittedly, they might not be able to hit the same enemy twice, but if there's multiple enemies on the screen, it can pass through one enemy and then do more damage to the second enemy. You know, that's no skin off my scroat. Go nuts. Very easy boss fight. Up to the next floor. Uh, another boss fight that I expect to be really relatively simple on bullet hell bosses. You know, I'm trying to get in the practice of just dropping... Um, if those were red chests, I probably would have fought, but... I'm trying to get in the habit of just dropping, like, Dry Baby in front of us. And it just kind of stays there, but we don't have the range, really, to do it. Yeah, we gotta get way too close, and then that makes us susceptible to, um... To the, uh... Other shot that he shoots out. Yeah, that one right there. Luckily, we have a full suite of orbitals as well, so we might actually just be able to get away with this. Dry Baby is very slightly in front of us. The only thing we're susceptible to is curve shots. And we've got a decent suite of orbitals that's helping us out as well. This is working out, like, stupidly well. I don't know, I don't want to use Tammy's head yet, because it's the fight's about to get a little bit more dynamic. I might actually use Tammy's head after he starts to enter the next... Ah, we don't need to, because all the riffraff is gone anyway. Alright. Pop this. Get them to hit. That actually did a decent amount of damage. You might be able to kill him in two phases. At least, if nothing else on this run, you saw me uh, use that tactic that a lot of people have been talking to me about. They've been saying, hey, put Dry Baby between you and the bullets and your life is going to be a lot easier. And you know what? They were absolutely correct. It does make life a lot easier. Down to the next floor and really, you know, the, the win is looking pretty likely here. All I'm looking for is some fun synergies to, to send me out on here. Nope. Mm, it's good, actually. Yeah, it's good. I mean, this is like three of the items I asked for. I specifically asked for Sacrificial Dagger, Poison Touch, and Piercing Shots. So how can I complain? Well, I can complain because fucking, uh, you know, Monstro's Tooth is just dumb. It's, Monstro's Tooth isn't even that bad. It just, it gets a bad rap and is kind of unremarkable. It's basically like a three-room High Priestess that doesn't do as much damage as High Priestess, I guess. Maybe it does. I don't know. I'm on the fence, but if I had blank card High Priestess, I'd be like, this is all right. But with, uh, when I get Monstro's Tooth, I'm like, fine. Fine game, we'll use Monstro's Tooth for now. It seems disingenuous. Or just seems wrong, not necessarily willfully wrong. We could actually really benefit from some range upgrades right now. Oh, that was beautiful. I love actually like a room layout like this where we're able to use Tammy's head. Hit the first enemy that has lower HP, then get the range bonus from Lump of Coal and drag the shots over to the other enemy. Like, my reflection allows us to be a more active participant in the Tammy's head interaction, which I think is cool. Now, basically, fuck you, Super Envy. Let's see if I can drag as many shots as possible over you. Yeah, pretty much killed Super Envy in one Tammy's head shot. I walked on some creep in the process, but our boss fight is right there. Uh, I will look for the secret room. I realize I didn't look for the secret room in the cathedral. I hope you'll forgive me for it. It's uh, it's tedious to look for secret rooms on later floors, and I gotta I gotta keep the focus on winning. On earlier floors, you know, there's only a few locations where it's likely to happen. On the secret room, that is. On later floors, it's a lot more volatile. I have faith that would have found it. We'll check here. We'll check here. It's not there. I'm just going to go fight the boss. I'm very happy with this run. I don't want to get real Platinum God anyway at the uh, at the end of an episode. I'd much rather be at the start of an episode so I could, you know, live in that high for a while. Also, I uh, would really like to have Nun's Habit combined with uh, Tammy's head right now. It's okay, though. We are still going to win. Just a, a lot, an awful lot of, like, really dumb damage here. Mostly, it's it's not that I'm blowing myself up. It's that the bombs are getting, you know, whipped around as a result of uh, my reflection coming back. And it's also, like, who cares? You know, we could just win the game of Sacrificial Dagger if we want to. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.